Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom you guys. Another video, guys. Today's video, we have a live commentary. As you guys can see, I'm playing as I'm speaking to you guys. This is something that people have been requesting a lot. They want to know how to win more solo games. So I'm going to give you guys the best tips and tricks that I possibly can give you when it comes to winning more solo games. Now, I know a lot of people, uh, my older videos, I told you to land at like Risky Reel or like somewhere just outside of the map where you're not going to encounter too many people. Now, this is still a very true scenario, so that's exactly what we're going to do. If you guys want to last longer in the game, land somewhere where you're not going to be engaged in too many fights. Now, keep in mind, this does not make you a better player. This only makes you capable of making it longer in the games now the thing you need to learn and practice is trying to get better as a person if you're trying to become a better player that's how you actually end up winning more games because when it comes down to the top 10 situation the last 10 people five of them are going to be good they're going to know what they're doing they're going to be good at the game and five of them are probably going to be decent or all right so you got to be at least all right or decent at this game in order to keep up with the final 10 people because a lot of people ask you questions like hey motion how do you win how do you win more often how do you beat because i always come in second place i can never beat the last guy that's because the last guy probably has more skill than you so you need to work on becoming a better player at the game so what my biggest tip for you guys trying to get better at the game is to encounter as much people as possible man uh take the time it's okay if you die doing this um take the time to actually find people and then the second you find people try to kill them and stuff like that you guys that's that's the best tip that i can give any oh geez that's the best tip that i can give anyone really Hang on, you guys. This guy's rushing. See, that's... Uh, all right, there's another good tip. Third-person peek. Don't rush anybody. Let them rush you. Um, you can literally third-person peek to find out exactly what they're doing. You don't have to get too aggressive. And at the start, make sure you have mats because having material is good. It, it protects yourself when you're getting shot at. It's the best way to actually survive. Anytime that you get shot at first... This is the only way that you can probably survive because there's no way that you can do some PUBG stuff and turn on somebody and start sh gunning them down because it just doesn't work like that in this game, you guys. All right, sweet. We got a shotgun. We're going to pick up the shotgun. All right. Our, our loadout's looking decent. There's a guy right here. I'm just going to wait for him to get in the open and light him up. That's all you got to do, you guys. If you see somebody first, that's really, really good. If you see someone first, you're, you're bound to get the kill. Ooh, and he had a scar. Let's go. This guy had some good loot. You're bound to get the kill first. Just because you see them first, you can end up taking advantage of that and taking the shots when he doesn't see you. Now, if you get seen first, that's very difficult. A lot of people die in situations like that because they get seen first and they don't, like, say I'm just running and I get shot at and I have no clue where the guy is. But I get shot at. That means the person saw me first and he has the advantage. So how to change that, how to change the advantage point of you having the disadvantage, wanting yourself to have the advantage, what you need to do is the second you get shot at, Turn to the direction you're getting shot at and build. Literally, like if I get shot at right now, I just do this and build at the direction I got shot at to protect myself. That is the only way you can protect yourself. And it, it, a lot of people try running away. Like say I'm getting shot at. People try running, trying to duck under hills and stuff like that. That is not how you do it in this game. Fortnite, if, if you're playing like that, that's more PUBG style. You guys should definitely try out PUBG um, because the play style in that is kind of similar to the technique that you're used to doing but in this game if you get shot at the first thing the first initial reaction anyone needs in this game is to build i please i promise you guys if, if you build the better you get at building the better reaction time you have of actually turning and putting up a wall to protect yourself the better you will get at this game you guys are going to last a lot longer you can third person peek the person so basically say someone shoots at me and i put up this wall right here and i put up stairs and they're shooting at me from over there let me just protect myself from all corners but say someone's shooting me at me from east and I have up this wall. What they're probably going to do is they're just going to spam the trigger button. They're going to keep shooting your base, trying to destroy it. So you're just going to keep your mats out and you're going to keep putting up a wall every time your wall gets destroyed while you're third person peeking this guy. As you guys can see, I'm hidden, but I can see over the stairs because I'm third person peeking. I'm putting up a wall, constantly putting up a wall as he's shooting. So that way you can make sure you can watch to see if he's rushing. Never be down here putting up a wall scared. At least come up a little bit. Look down a little bit so you can third person peek and then keep putting up a wall because that way you can see if they're rushing you and anything like that. And if you see that they're rushing you, that's when you need to make a chance or a movement and start shooting at them because that's when they're vulnerable. They probably think you're healing up or something like that, especially if they got shots off into you. They're probably going to be like, oh, they're healing up. Let me rush them now. That's probably their mindset. And a lot of this game is trying to outsmart the other person um, that's pretty much like 
50% of this game, man. If you can outsmart the other person, you're definitely going to end up winning that game or that gun battle. And that's all it takes. It's a few gun battle wins and you actually end up winning the game. As you guys can see, I only have 274 mats. Some people might think this is good, but honestly, in solos, this is not enough mats. You need more mats just in case if you run into somebody, see this guy, he doesn't see me. I have the advantage. I can start shooting at him whenever I want. So I'm going to shoot once he starts destroying that tree. Oh, I think he sees that guy over there to our right. So we're going to sneak up behind him. Put up this wall so we can get high ground. And then we're just going to melt him. And then this guy over here that's deep down there, we're going to we're gonna go kill him now. We're going to get this guy's loot and stuff. I don't think that other guy heard me, which is good. See, the other guy's running away too. See, now we have the advantage. When we're, when we're playing aggressive like this and we find people before they can find us, this gives us the advantage because we're aggressive. We know exactly what they're doing and... Nobody's shooting us from behind. Now, if someone starts shooting at me from behind, I'm going to be in a tough situation because... Okay, so this guy has a minigun. The minigun is, is hard to deal with. But building is all you got to do. He, he messed up by switching to the... Uh, he messed up big time by switching his guns to the RPG. Just because that gave me a split second to react. But the minigun is hard to deal with. Um... Just because it really melts you, it really melts your your uh, material that you build, your building material, and it's it's kind of hard to counter. I mean, the best situation I could have done if he kept that minigun out was put up these walls and try to flank, try to distract him, make him think that I'm here, make him not know where I'm going. Because if he's constantly looking at me and just destroying me, there's no way I can get out of it, especially if this dude has an unlimited amount of supply of mini or light ammo. It's a GG for me. But this is exactly what you guys want to do. You want to make sure you hit a, a, a place outside the map. Try to take over that city. Try to get as much good loot as you possibly can. As you guys can see, I have a scar. I have two shotguns. I have impulse nades and an RPG. So my the impulse nades are just for flexing. They're just for like, like trick shots and stuff like that. Trying to rush people. Trying to get aggressive. I don't really suggest many people. Someone's here with me. Oh, this guy's bad. See, sometimes you run into bad people, sometimes you run into good people. But see, the thing is, is those bad people like that, that moment right there, it's good for me to find him and end up killing him because it's given me the practice. It's given me the experience that I need to get better at the game, you guys. And I killed him. I got all his mats. Now I have 400 material, which is really good. And those guys that, that die, that suck, that aren't that good at the game, they're, you're not going to run into those people at the end of the game. The end of the game, you're going to run into at least decent players um, that know what they're doing. So these people that I've killed so far, yes, they're bad, but they're the beginning of the game. So you're going to run into bad people at the beginning. That's why at the beginning of the game, if you want to get better, get aggressive so that way you can kill all the, the crappy people and you can actually get better at the game. If you try to camp out the whole beginning, you're literally camping out all the bad people and you're challenging yourself to all the amazing good people at this game. So you don't want to camp it out to the end because then you're just fighting all good people. You want to actually be aggressive throughout the whole game. Try to stay on the edge of the circle and always look around, always jump. You guys are going to notice the pros are always jumping. I, look, I'm seeing everybody before they see me, which is really good. I could take the shot from this far. You know what? So I'm going to. I'm going to show you an example. Some people like to take a shot from this far. This guy's not building at all. I don't know what he's doing. So that, that means that's what a lot of people do. They don't build. They try to run and duck and hide behind a rock. You don't need to do that. All he had to do was turn around, put up a wall, and protect himself. So now, now he's behind a rock. He has no building things going on. I can literally just build up, fortify myself, and rush him. See, that guy didn't know what he was doing either. He had a he had many scars. Holy crap. We're going to rock the double pump. Oh, a shopping cart. Shopping carts aren't good in solos. No reason to have a shopping cart. Now we need shields because we ended up killing, fighting a few people. None of them had shields, which is not good. So this means we're in a sticky situation because we don't have that much shields. If you're going this game without shields, you're probably going to lose. Anytime any, someone shoots you from behind... By the time you react to it, you're already going to have like 50 health. So you're going to be basically one shot in the head. You're dead. So you need to, at, at, at this point in game where there's only 15 people alive, you need to make sure you have shields. So go look for shields. Look in places that have never been looted yet, and hopefully you can find some shields. Like this place got looted, so I'm not even going to bother going in there because it got looted. There could be a trap in there. There's no point. Um, I know there's a chest up here. I'm going to check to see if I can hopefully, hopefully this chest didn't get looted, which it looks like it might have. Yeah, this chest. Okay, the chest isn't even there. Those chests got looted. All right, so now we're in a situation where it's like, what do we do? We can hit the middle of Loot Lake. We have decent amount of mats. 
so we can get over there. But I'm not going to waste my uh, my wood for this. So I'm just going to switch to my metal. Use my metal to get over here. Now, if nobody looted Loot Lake, that's really good for me because, one, I can try and get shields and stuff like that. Hopefully, no one looted this place. Doors are still closed, which is a good sign that this place hasn't get, gotten looted. Nothing in here is destroyed. That's a good sign this place hasn't got looted. Oh, doors are open. Okay, this place got looted 100%. So there's no point in me actually being here. I need to get out of here and get to the circle. I need to get somewhere that where there's shields. That's my my first priority is to get somewhere where there's shields so I can actually stand up a chance in fighting people. See, the factory's got looted. There's a guy over there, and there's a person over there fighting. So hopefully I can get over there and try and kill them, and hopefully they have shields. Someone sniped at me from behind. I'm not too worried about snipers in this game. Um, just because they are kind of, that person was all the way on the opposite side. I hear someone in here. Oh, someone's trying to snipe me. Okay, so this guy behind me is trying to snipe me. See, he's waiting. I'm not going to peek him because he's waiting for me. That guy has shields. He has exactly what I need. Now this comes to who has more patience, this guy or me. So what I can do is I could edit this out and kill him just like that. That's all I had to do. Now I can go get this guy's shields, heal up for myself, get his mats, everything that I need. Come back over here. Oh, there's a guy over there. And I need to heal up. There's a guy over there where I killed that sniper at. There's a guy over there. I need to focus him next. I'm going to go back and get my impulse nades. And then we're going to push him. We're going to get a little aggressive. We have some shields. I just don't want this guy to... Oh, someone's in the middle of Loot Lake too. I'm going to show you guys a little aggressive push. I can impulse nade to him. Alright, so he's below me. I'm going to reload my shotguns. Just because I used a lot of shot, uh, shotgun ammo trying to get in there to him. Woo! Now someone's above me. I got to break out of here. Protect myself. All right, I'm going to impulse him off the edge. No! I survived. He fell. He fell and died. There's a chug jug up here I got to get. Oh my goodness, dude. I can't believe that just happened. Storm's coming. I got a minute. Holy crap, you guys. All right, that does not usually happen. I got extremely lucky right there. Whoo, boy. That's not something that usually happens, you guys. I'm going to get this guy's loot. Where'd he fall to? I think he fell up there. It's all right. I need mats now. I, I want to stay in the circle. I want to get his loot, though. I'm going to rush up here and try to get his loot. Just because I need more mats, you guys. I need material and stuff like that. I don't know exactly where he fell and died at. I can't find it. I gotta go. I gotta get in the circle. It's okay. I took a little fall damage. I, I literally probably am just gonna have to just hit things and get mats. Someone could be up there. I should have grabbed that sniper back there. But see, it's okay. I, I, do, I realize that I made a mistake and I'm not gonna backtrack. I'm not gonna panic. Um, I'm literally just gonna play it out. Now we're in the top 10 situation. Like I said, this is where the good kids are. Um, this is where things get crazy. Uh, it looks like this mountain's in the circle, so what I'm going to want to do is get on this mountain. Because whoever is on this mountain is probably going to end up winning, because they have high ground. Oh! Oh, this dude fell. 
He is running for his life. There we go. Alright, so how I can get out of here is just build like that. Now I need to go get his material because I only have 100 as you guys can see. That guy was camping, was not expecting that, but instantly you guys saw the first thing I did was build to protect myself. Hopefully he had a lot of material. It doesn't look like he did. Okay, okay, he had a decent amount. I have more than I had coming into that fight. So, good thing I won that fight. That's why winning your gunfights are still good, you guys. You can still win your gunfights, and it gets you material and stuff like that. So, everything has a plus to it. Now, we're going to maintain high ground advantage and see what we can do up here. And there's a chest up here. And just wait. See, if I had a sniper, I could have sniped that girl right there. Whoever that is right there, I could have sniped him if I had my sniper. I'm going to try. Just put a few bullets into them. Don't peek. Like, as you guys can see, I'm not going to stay up there and keep shooting at them because I can get sniped not just by that person, but there's three people alive still. So whoever's over there, they can end up sniping me. So I'm just going to play it safe, wait it out. This is the good people. So they can hit their sniper shots. You don't have to peek anything you don't want to. Keep in mind, you guys, this is my very first game on today. So I haven't even warmed up. This is literally my warm-up game, and I'm showing you guys exactly how to try to get a victory royale in solos. So we know that there's one in there. We know there's three people alive. There's, it says four. I'm one of them. So there's one over there. I think there's one over there in that wooden base. And there's one that we don't know where he is. So we got to make sure we're checking our backside. Make sure he's not running up our ramp that we came up. And just, we're sound whoring. We're listening. That's all we're doing. All right, see, they're shooting each other. That's fine. Let them fight. Let them fight. Because we want to get in the last situation where it's a 1v1. I only have, what, two, four, five, six, seven hundred material, which is not good. When it comes to a build-off, if I'm going against somebody that's really good at the game, they're most likely going to dog me. They're most likely going to end up killing me. And there's nothing I can do about it. All right, I see one of them. He's over there at uh, Modern House. This guy's still in here. And there's one more we don't know where they are. But if the other person's hiding and it's quiet and you can't see them usually, usually it means they're they're kind of a bad person. They're just playing it safe. They're, tr they're doing exactly what we're doing where we're just trying to hide, make it to the top three situation, which it is right now. And there's this guy up there. I could shoot down his base and kill him, but that means I'm going to peek. And I don't want to peek for that long. But I do have an RPG, so that's what I'm going to do. Because the RPG could do a lot of damage and I can destroy his base and he could fall that's what I want him to do is I want him to fall he's building down but it's too late he fell and he took fall damage all right now he doesn't have that high ground but we aren't in the circle so we got to get in the circle that's what we need to do we're gonna farm a little bit more trees and stuff like that so we can get more mats. The storm is moving very slow. So we have time to farm these trees. Get some more mats. Ooh, it's kind of coming quick. It's alright though. We can outrun this storm. Don't be scared of the storm. Don't let the storm scare you for from doing things. Because when it comes to the small circle, yes, it does a lot of damage. But if you know how to pl like time yourself, you can be safe. We're going to rush this guy because I think he's probably the best person in the game. And this is where you guys want to get aggressive. Once he's weak, he's healing up. He's probably trying to, probably trying to like, protect himself and stuff. So we're gonna RPG his base. Okay, so he's playing very uh, defensive right now. We're going to build around us to protect ourselves. Oh, look. See, this guy's trying to rush. Let these two fight. And then I step in and I kill him. That easy, you guys. That's all you have to do. Remember, I remembered. I have 12 kills in a solo game giving you guys tips and tricks. That's all you have to do. Play it safe. Play it smart. You literally have to outsmart the other people. I knew that that guy was there, but I knew there were still three people alive. Me, the guy I was fighting, and there was one more. The other dude, I was checking my back, making sure he wasn't flanking. And what did I notice? He was flanking. But I had high ground, so the guy that flanked me, I don't know why he went for the other guy, but let them fight, and then you fight the last person, you guys. That's all it takes. Outsmarting the other person. If you guys please can give this video a thumbs up, I appreciate that more than anything. There you guys have a 12 kill solo game. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the live stream tonight. Come to the live stream. We're giving away free 
V-Bucks, you guys. Free V-Bucks. Make sure to make it to the live stream. It's going to be fun, and I'll see you guys there.